eggs. Possibly one of the most widely used things all chefs do. We've all eaten them. Hey, here are my three simple recipes where eggs will make you popular. Deviled eggs is a super simple recipe and the only technical bit in it is boiling of the eggs. Um, well, if you guys don't know how to do that, tell me in the comments and I promise I will put a video for it. Well, um, yeah, Heston Blumenthal does have some nice tricks up his sleeves if he wants the eggs in a particular way for his scotch eggs. But hey, I'm no Heston, I'm Sandeep. So all I need are those eggs hard boiled and from there on the recipe is actually quite simple you know just split them into two just gently pop the yolk into a bowl the egg whites on the side and that is stage one of deviled eggs the yolks are all out into this bowl um, and from here on well, from here on it's your painting you can do what you want with it I promise you simple recipes, so I'm not gonna go chefy on you. I am not, repeat with me, not gonna put these in a piping bag. We're just gonna use spoons. This is a dish that you make when uh, you have a lot of guests coming in and you're short on time. Yeah, just get the yolks out, some salt in, and let's just build some flavor. I feel like putting some onions in there. I've got some nice Tabasco sriracha. We'll put that in there. I have some mayonnaise. Trusty mash it out. And as I mash it, you guys think about what are the other flavors that you would want to put into this. Now it might look a little runny at the moment. That's because I've used some homemade mayonnaise. Uh, it was in my fridge for a while. But you will see that as I mash it, the eggs or the egg yolks are gonna make it nice and thick and creamy. I feel like adding a little bit of pepper to it as well. You know, I've got a really easy tip on how to take shells off uh, hard boiled eggs. It's in one of my videos and uh, yeah, just as you subscribe, you can also go onto the cards and click on those kitchen tips. There are heaps more tips. Uh, but yeah, I've got some really cool ways of deshelling an egg. Sounds like a simple thing to do. Well, not till you see that video. Okay, we're all done here. Taste test. Mm. More sriracha. Give it a good mix. And we are ready to plate up. So, in the good old days, Vanilling was done with spoons. I think I can't do it. I couldn't do it in MasterChef. So we'll just use two small spoons to fill these eggshells or egg whites. And always do that on a board if you want your final plated dish to look any good. Always do this process, not on a board where you're gonna serve it. And you know, just go on filling, mate. Just go fill it up and trust me, your guests are going to be really happy and they're going to be impressed. Maybe they'll also ask you to apply for MasterChef. Actually, you should. In terms of costing of a dish, I don't think any dish comes to be as cheap per portion as a deviled egg. Um, they are really economical to make. And if you try this recipe, why don't you tell me in the comments how much did you spend to make about a dozen of these? Before you plate it up, anything that you want to do with it, like just drizzle in some more sriracha. As you can see, budgets haven't been kind, so I don't have enough money to buy a whole new bottle. <laughs> but you can just make it look like it's got blood all over it. And then just a fresh flourish of some coriander. And we have an amazing looking master chef level dish that your mates are gonna be proud of. First of the three. Devil eggs was super simple. 
This one here, I'd say simpler. Pan, eggs, what can go wrong? I have some fantastic memories of this dish. And one of the things that I do while making eggs is I use some milk. Not much, just like a couple of tablespoons. And what that milk does is it'll fluff up the omelet that much more. And it also makes it, it kind of gives it a bit of a base uh, for the spices to all go in. Well, in no great order, I'm gonna have my wonderful red, beautifully mild Kashmiri red chilies, my super secret garam masala. And hey, this is a Kashmiri garam masala, traditional to my part of the world, at least from the part where I was born, and a secret recipe from my family, which a lot of other families know, but from home, preservative free. You can do what you want with this recipe. In fact, I'm just gonna add these spices into the milk, some salt, Give it a nice little mix. We'll take in the fresh eggs. And we mix. It's really nice to know if anyone of you uses milk while making omelets. If you do, let me know in the comments. And if you don't, and you think that this is a questionable practice, well, I hope you don't eat cakes either. You don't have to get it over fluffy. At the end of the day, it's gonna go into a nice cheesy bun. So that's pretty much it. I've got my pan decently hot and onto the pan, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Now butter makes it rich, but what really prevents the butter from burning is olive oil. Again, something that I picked up during MasterChef. We'll just let that heat up a little. And until then, what we're gonna do is just prep the bun. This kind of food was one of my favorite go-to foods uh, when we were in college. We had this bakery right next to our college who sold these bun omelets or bun samosa. And for at about 10 rupees, which is barely 20 cents, this was our go-to food. Our butter is all but done. We'll put a bit of aromats in there. Again, it's an omelet of your choice. You can do what you want with it. You don't have to add any of this. I did promise you simple recipes, and hey, these are. But when you add a little bit of garlic and a little bit of onions, suddenly the world seems fragrant. Make sure it doesn't burn because it's almost about to burn in my case. Now, I know this looks a little ugly at the moment. That's because it's just a single egg. Well, it's as simple as that. The omelette is done. It can be a little runny. It doesn't really have to, uh, you know, have a nice fold or anything. Bring it onto a plate. I'll now take the buns, give them some nice love. The butter makes it all that more better. And from here on, you just assemble. I've cut the heat on the pan, so it's all cooking now on the residual heat. We'll just go a bit cheesy on this one. Put the omelette on. And before you get both of these buns together, add whatever ketchup you want. And in my case, I just don't throw these ketchup packets that come. Again, stuff like this would be lying in your house. It's an easy, easy meal, even to impress your ardent critics. So that ketchup on top, sandwich made, and your pan omelette second dish is ready. Shakshuka is a love affair, a dish that I learned in MasterChef from my very good friend Mandy Hall. It is a Middle Eastern dish, but Hey, like everything else in the world, put the spices in. It'll lift it up. So I've made an Indian version of it, which will make you into superheroes. So 
So into your pan, we're gonna add some olive oil. Olive oil gives it that bit of uh, fruitiness. Uh, but yeah, once you add the spices, it is predominantly the wonderful Kashmiri red chili from the Spice Angel and the beautiful garam masala that really sing. One of the best ways to make this dish in my dictionary is if you're having any tomato based curry, well, you can just use that and just throw in the eggs and you serve it in the pan itself. And if you want to impress your friends without messing the whole kitchen and the dishes, this is your answer. We start with putting some aromats into the oil, followed by some onions. Now, all of this is very optional. I like these flavors, so I'm just going to go for them. But you can just empty a can of chicken tikka masala in there and throw in the eggs. Even that would be your version of a shakshuka. In fact, if you do it, let us know in the comments. We'll get the onions sizzling a little. You don't want to really overcook them. This dish is all about texture. I've got some bell peppers here. Uh, we made a quick barbecue and I'd put them on the fire. So these have already been cooked. I've got a whole assortment of vegetables over there. And as you can see, you can basically empty your uh, fridge while making chakshuka. It is that simple. And as I've said, the best thing about this dish is that it will be served in the pan that it's cooked in. In go the spices, the Spice Angel Garam Masala, no preservatives, no chemicals, some Kashmiri red chilies, and a bit of coriander powder. The spices are optional. A lot of my Middle Eastern friends will actually frown. Please don't, they taste good. You can order them in the description below. In fact, this entire recipe is down in the description. Get the spices toasting a little. All those flavors, those colors, those aromas. It is quite heavy. In the spirit of super simplicity, I am not going to use fresh tomatoes in mine. We will use canned ones. They are perfectly fine to use. You could use fresh tomatoes as well. Just cook them through. But in my case, I love to use canned tomatoes. They're pretty nice. And above all, they're already cooked, so it cuts the cooking time as well. Don't forget the season. The sauce is nice and aromatic. It's sticking to the pan, so I'm just gonna make some space over here for me to put in the eggs. We'll put about five, maybe six, and in go the eggs. These are beautiful free range eggs. You gotta have fresh eggs for this dish because if the yolk isn't whole, the dish does not really come out very well. The eggs are all in. At this point, we just season it a little bit more. Add in a tiny bit of pepper too. You could add some cheese and make it rich. I'd prefer not to, but if you do, hey, let me know. Comments down there, go there. Let me know what you think. The finish of the dish, we covered it and we just let those eggs cook slowly so that the top surface is covered in that gorgeous white layer. We'll finish it off with some coriander and we're ready to plate and eat.